Hey there, this is PJ. These are our readings for Friday, June 3rd, 2022. We have our three readings once again. Psalm 104, 24 through 35 is going to be our Psalm reading. Isaiah 44, 1 through 4 is going to be our Old Testament reading. We're remaining in Galatians, jumping to chapter 6 for our New Testament reading. So Galatians chapter 6, verses 7 through 10. Let us listen in to the scriptures. Psalm 104. What a wildly wonderful world, God. You made it all with wisdom at your side. Made earth overflow with your wonderful creations. Oh, look, the deep wide sea brimming with fish past counting. Sardines and sharks and salmon. Ships plow through the waters. And Levithon, your pet dragon, romps in them. All the creatures look expectantly to you to give them their meals on time. You come and they gather around. You open your hand and they eat from it. If you turn your back, they'll die in a minute. Take back your spirit and they die. Revert to their original mud. Send out your spirit and they spring to life. The whole countryside in bloom and blossom. The glory of God. Let it last forever. Let God enjoy his creation. He takes one look at earth and triggers an earthquake. Points a finger at the mountain and volcanoes erupt. Oh, let me sing to God all my life long. Sing hymns to my God as long as I live. Oh, let my song please him. I'm so pleased to be singing to God. But clear the ground of sinners, no more godless men and women. Oh, my soul, bless God. Oh, let me sing to God all my life long. Sing hymns to God as long as I live. Oh, let my songs please Him. I'm so pleased to be singing to God. But clear the ground of sinners. No more godless men and women. Oh, my soul, bless God. Our Old Testament reading today comes from the book of Isaiah, chapter 44, verses 1 through 5. But for now, dear servant Jacob, listen. Yes, you, Israel. My personal choice. God who made you has something to say to you. The God who formed you in the womb wants to help you. Don't be afraid, dear servant Jacob. Jeshurun, the one I chose. For I will pour water on the thirsty ground and send streams coursing through the parched earth. I will pour my spirit into your descendants and my blessings on your children. They shall sprout like grass on the prairie, like willows alongside creeks. This one will say, I am God's, and another will go by the name Jacob. That one will write on his hand, God's property, and be proud to be called Israel. Our New Testament reading comes from the book of Galatians, chapter 6, verses 7 through 10. Don't be misled. No one makes a fool of God. What a person plants, he will harvest. The person who plants selfishness ignores the needs of others, ignoring God. Harvest a crop of weeds, and he'll show you for his life is weeds. But the one who plants in response to God, letting God's spirit do the growth work in him, harvest a crop of real life, eternal life. So let's not allow ourselves to get fatigued doing good. At the right time, we will harvest a good crop if we don't give up or quit. Right now, therefore, every time we get the chance, let us work for the benefit of all. Starting with the people closest to us in the community of faith. And here ends our readings for the day. Peace and have a good rest of the weekend.